Hi guys, welcome to another session. Today I'll take you through how to create your own recipes in Capture One. And what recipes do is um, they are your export settings that are um, used to export your images. Now, if uh, you look on the left here, up here, you see this. We have the process recipes. Now they come with uh, some default recipes that most I don't think most people use. So you need to create your own custom recipes. Like if you look here, from here all the way down, I created my custom recipes. I enable which one based on what I want to achieve at the end of the export. So as you can see. I normally export for social media so this is constantly on and then at the same time a high resolution JPEG of that same file so now if we click on social media if you look over here down here at the bottom here you realize my logo appears there by default it appears for every image I go through so as you can see now if you go to high resolution the logo disappears from here now I have the same thing for social no logo events with um, a smaller logo I have other people I export for so I have their logos as well so if you take a look at this with that name then the specific logo appears here um, this also it has its own logo for the previous one so Today I'll take you through how to create this for your own logo. So first of all, we see the plus sign here. Just tap on it and then we will give it a name. For the sake of this uh, tutorial, let's say we call it our recipe or let's say our export. Yes, that's the name we've given to. So you see by default, it is selected. So let me just go ahead and deselect these other ones. So I have only our uh, export. So you can see it's a blank something. Now, if you look at the process recipe down here, you have basic file adjustments, metadata, watermark. Now let's do the basic settings first. Now I want this image exported to JPEG. So over here, we change it from TIFF to JPEG. And then if you're exporting, we will, we will do this for social media. If you're exporting for social media, I normally leave it at 90%. And then because it's for web, I leave it at sRGB. sRGB is for web viewing. Um, Adobe RGB is more for printing and that kind of stuff. Resolution, I leave it to 72 for social media so that Instagram or Facebook doesn't compress it now if you compress it by yourself it makes it easier if you leave it to them to compress then they might not get it right and the scale I go to short edge and then go to pixels and I give it 1080 1080 pixels that's for the short edge now if you look at this image here the short edge will be here from left to right that's the short edge so that will be now i've constrained just one part so that i can apply the same recipe to a landscape picture or a portrait picture i hope you guys understand all right so 1080 pixels and open with nothing and that's all we'll do in this recipe was the first part we'll come back to the output location and this later now under file i don't have anything the adjustments i here yeah, i do output sharpening for screen and sometimes i just leave it to 90 percent so it just gives it a little more sharpening for screen that's all it, it, it's not for print just for screen so that you see it. now most people won't use this because they sharpen the images in Photoshop I don't sharpen my images in Photoshop the way I retouch I retouch preserving the skin texture and everything so I just add some small sharpening here for screen so that's all I do here and then I move to watermark now watermark that's where you have the logo placement now for those of you who already have your 
a PNG file of your logo. Now the kind is here. There is text, which means just writing. Let's say our uh, logo. That's what you want to put there. You don't have a PNG file. You don't have a, uh, a JPEG file of your logo. You just want it's uh, maybe a website or something that you just want to write down there. Okay, let's use uh, my website for example. So we have uh, let's say um or oh, i'm thinking we should rather use my instagram so at brand on photography that's all we want to use now you have access to opacity the scale and all that so the scale has to do with the size of uh, wow that's still too big so now um, let's we can we change it to points and we'll be able to scale it well. So that's it. Let's say this is what we have. And then you can work on the position whether to the left or to the right. Let's say I want to maintain it here. Then I bring it down somewhere here. Then you can change the font also to any font you like. So let's say you want to maintain this font, I just select it and that's it. So if you want to change the opacity for it to be right or you want it 100%, let's say we don't want it to take attention from the image, so you make it um, 24%. And that's it. So we have a logo showing here. This is for text logo, right? Now let's assume we, we, we don't want a text. We want an image. We have a PNG file, a transparent file that we want to use. Just go here to image and then as you can see, drop image here or you just double click and oh no tap on this here and you'll be able to get the image now let's our image is somewhere here this is my signature that i use so we open it and automatically you see it appears here so the same thing you can scale it down or up anyhow you want let's say we scale it down a bit the opacity is always at 50 so you can decide to make it 100 percent then you move it where you want it to be this you can always change some of us prefer our logo at a particular point so that when somebody takes your picture they, they just know your logo appears to the right some people keep changing the size and the location the yeah where you place it i prefer keeping it at the same place for all images unless i really have to change it so that's it with this one too you've done you've done it so just scale it to the size you want and it's there see you can change the dimensions here move it to wherever you want and we have it so our export is now a recipe and it's here so now let's go to basic let's go over these again change the format to jpeg quality to 90 it's uh, the quality to 90 it's a personal preference then you change to srgb resolution 72 the scale i prefer controlling the short edge some people prefer controlling the long edge it still doesn't change anything then i i want the the short edge to be 1080 pixels now the output location has to do with um, where you want the export to send your images so that we have destination we pick destination choose folder and then we choose where you want it to be in this case let's say i want it to be on my desktop so i just select desktop and put there now the subfolder comes in handy if you 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 want to export to desktop but you don't want everything scattered on the desktop you want it to create a folder and place everything in so here we can decide to type um, our exports and you place 
all the images into our export now with the way capture one recipes work you can export to different formats at the same time so if we choose our export and then let's say we add this to our recipe you can select multiple recipes and with just one click you will process all if we do this it will export both of these recipes into the same folder so you create a duplicate file name but with different uh, logos on them that's not what we want so there is a simple way of doing this so that capture one will create a separate folder for our exports and then another one for beauty inception gh so we have two different folders for two different exports with just one click of a button so what you do is this here you click it and you can define how it does it whether automatically or by yourself now i would want it to do it automatically for me so i just there's um, one particular type of recipe name if you select recipe name here you click ok so you see recipe name it's it's a preset in embedded in capture one so it or it knows what to do once you click you select recipe name it means it will pick up the name here of the recipe that's it it will create a folder with the name of the recipe so there will be one folder called our export and then another one called beauty inception gh get it so here let me make it easier we we'll go to desktop and let's create a new folder called um, export tutorial so that's a new folder on the desktop called export tutorial inside that folder on the desktop you should create subfolders with the name of each recipe so now we have our export recipe and then beauty inception now if we check beauty inception this is how it looks like if we check our export this is how it looks like so we've selected two recipes as you can see it's just two we can add a third or a fourth or even an up to a number we want capture one will still be able to process them individually so we have this then we go down to process some this place we have process so let's tap on process and see what happens so with this now let's go to our desktop forgive my desktop is scattered but then if we look for this we find export tutorial here we open it you can see beauty inception here our export how lovely how fantastic it is for capture one to do this this is something lightroom doesn't do and this is so helpful that if let's say you want to export one image to about three different formats one for social media one for print and then one high res um, jpeg you just create recipes for each of those and then once you export capture one will create a separate folder for each one of them. so if you open this here you see this is their logo Ghana near photography now if we go to beauty inception and open that you see beauty inception with just one export click we've been able to create two different export formats for our image you get it now we have these two here let's say we go back to capture one and we want to add a third one we add this but don't forget to deselect these ones otherwise it will create a copy so now we want to export for only this Pam. and if we come here we have a new folder Benny GH Ghana New Social tap it it's as you can see the logo here Benny GH Ghana New Photography it's very simple guys so I hope you understand this if you don't just go over what we just did and I'll, or you can state it in the comment section if you there's something maybe i rushed through something or there's one particular thing you don't understand so that i'll go over again i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for watching